Okay, as of right now, I am recording. Um, okay, well, hey, this is our submission for the Impervious AI Hackathon. Uh, we built a, um, uh, uh, why don't you describe it? Asher, you have a pretty good way of saying it. Sure, so BitSwarm, uh, the idea is to integrate Bitcoin, LND, Impervious, uh, and the BitTorrent file sharing protocol, which is a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized way to share files that's been around for a long time. Um, but the problem in BitTorrent is hosting. So instead of paying Amazon or Google to do content delivery, uh, you're relying on a swarm uh, of people that are going to uh, seed or host your files. So what we've done is created a marketplace to incentivize seeding. Uh, so let's say Bob is a content creator. He has some files that he'd like to share with some friends over BitTorrent. He can engage in a contract through our impervious app uh, BitSwarm with Alice to hire Alice, uh, basically renting her, her hard drive space and bandwidth to host his his uh, his content on the BitTorrent Swarm. Uh, and Alice receives a payment from Bob uh, every time that she uploads um, uh, a file to the Swarm or some content to the Swarm. Uh, and that contract for the amount of payment is negotiated through our app uh, using Impervious. Yep. Yeah, perfect way to say it. So uh, the team members are, I'm Ozzy, and then Asher, and then we are here with Paul as well. That's three of us. Um, so let's let's run through it. Uh, so how this actually runs is, uh, so uh, this is two different computers. Both of them are running the full Bitcoin, Lightning, and Impervious stack, um, different IP addresses. Um, uh, so here on the right, this will be the actual seed box. And so the first thing they have to do is come set up their parameters. Um, they could give themselves a name, tell them how much disk space you have. So this is like a terabyte and their fee. You get to choose how many sats per megabyte and then broadcast that. So now this this uh, this instance of the app has that information saved locally. So now on the left here, um, this is where we want to share some content. So first we have to choose which content we're going to share. Um, and let's just work with this little video here. It's just a miscellaneous video. Um, add that to this server. And that'll take a couple seconds to 10 megabytes. So that's uploading that video file directly from the user's device to the to the Bitcoin impervious LND node. Yeah, that's that's good to note, right? Because I th this is here on my local laptop, but here we are connected to the um, uh, the EC2 instance, and here it is down here. So then, next thing we gotta do is look for a public key, and so this pub key is actually um, belongs to this uh, instance on the right. So we're gonna add that to our address book. Um, and now it shows up here in our address book. Uh, and then what we want to do now is now we're going to search for who in our address book can host our files. So this is a file we want to host, testvid01, um, and that's search our address book. And because we set up the parameters on the right, it should tell us that we have one good offer here on the right. And this is indeed the pub key of this instance on the right. So let's accept offer. You'll, you'll notice as well that this whole process is taking place over the impervious messaging API. Mm -hmm. We're sending messages to Alice about what kind of uh, parameters she has in terms of her offer. So her disk space, her upload rate, uh, what she's charging as a fee so that we can then decide on our end if we want to go through with this. That's a good point. Yeah, and you can see all those messages popping up here, including the um, the out of band connection that was just established. Out to, so messages went over to establish, um, you know, the port and IP address for everything, uh, and then the file was sent over an out of band connection, and we could see now. Um, you see here this uh, on the right, the file was received over here by Alice, and it has successfully created a torrent. And if we refresh this page. We should see now that a torrent is available to see and i'm going to copy this magnet link of it and paste it over here in slack so uh, asher over on his computer can download that torrent so a magnet link can be opened by any BitTorrent client and it's just a hash of the file that's being uh shared um and some metadata about it so I've just added that file to my local BitTorrent client. I'm sorry, I've just added that hash data, uh, the magnet link to my local BitTorrent client. Uh, and right now I am looking for the seed box, which is uh, a seeder in the swarm. And hopefully we should start downloading it in just a couple seconds here. Let me uh, 
And this is what the magnet link looks like. And so right now you can see it's at zero. And then after Asher downloads it, we should see this copy seated go up to one and the total uploaded um, should be more than zero. Should be a file size. Oh, we do. We got, okay, we were just talking about this. We didn't fix the units yet, so this isn't, you know, a, a million megabytes. This is uh, in bytes. <laughs> so it looks like I was just able to download the file. My download's complete. Perfect. So and now we see that reflected here on Alice's. She saw one um, one file was downloaded, that many bytes was downloaded. So now what's going to happen is we have some cron jobs running in the background on, on well, basically it's part of the app. Some cron jobs are running in the background. Um, so that's every minute. So we do need to wait a couple minutes. But what's going to happen is it's going to um, look at how many megabytes have been uploaded for this particular contract that they created with each other. Um, and then eventually it'll create an invoice. So after a couple minutes, So check it out, invoices are here. So now Alice generated an invoice and she received 10 sats from Bob over here on the left who sent 10 sats and that's it, that's the whole chain. I mean, that's the whole demonstration. Alice successfully shared a torrent file and Bob paid her for doing that for him. That's our app.